My name is Kendi Kamsen. I'm a operator. I'm an operator in the quick service restaurant sector of Nigeria's economy, which we call the QSR sector. We started out about 15 years ago. It's interesting how time flies, but um, 15 years officially, 25 years unofficially because there was indeed a 10-year dedication before the brand name of Sweet Sensation emerged. And um, we thank God, so far so good. Of course, um, business in the Nigerian, or in fact within the world context, um, does have its ups and downs. and. We're happy to see a brand that has survived um, the hardships of the Nigerian economy and has been strengthened in it as well. It's been great as you can see, it speaks for itself. Um, a multi-locational business of about 22 locations to date and still counting. Um, a strong, visible, and vibrant brand um, that has stood the test of time so far, even the hardest of times, um, and that is still positioned to face the eco economic meltdown that is uh, facing the entire Nigerian economic today and an employer of about 1,500 to 600, 1,600 in labor, I think, um, I think that um, it's a brand to be welcomed with. Uh, challenges come in different forms, um, uh, growth challenges, financing challenges, uh, competition, and um, even responses of followers and of course um, lots of challenges also with the death in the Nigerian infrastructural system and of course the greatest of all challenges is energy that's the singular contender with this um, industry's profits you, to be a successful leader it is not by just uh, being there and enjoying the accolades. It's about serious business, it's about hard work, it's about sleepless nights, it's about good um, support infrastructure, it's about a strong labor force, which we have in this company. It's about cooperation, it's about foresight, it's about dedication, it's about one step ahead of others. And in Nigeria's environment particularly, you double those efforts. Then being a woman, you quadruple the efforts. And um, with God on your side, with God on our side, you can be sure that all your efforts will not be in vain. It will not be fair for me to acknowledge the fact that uh, un unemployment is is worse the situation of employment today is worse than it was when we were coming out it was bad as well when we were coming out of school but right now it is even worse especially with the um, the situation with the economy in the past year in fact if I was to put it mildly in the past year even for those who are employed, uh, their pay and their, their, their salaries have been cut. And that means that whether you are employed or you are employed, there are issues. And um, my advice to young people is that um, a city is never built in one day. And um, the story of Sweet Sensation is one like that. Um, it started not with some grandiose plan. It started as a little, really small business. It started at the gate house, that is the Malam's house, the security house of a private residential building. And uh, what actually happened was 
that security house of about three of about five feet by eight feet in size was expanded into about the side of a room and then as growth continued continued we continue to expand that size until the gatehouse was almost touching the main building and my parents said hey woman get out of here this is no longer your house all right well find a commercial property to use and that is how come we now moved from that particular location to the next building as full tenants now my advice to the young people the youths uh, is um, look um, there's so look around you there are so many things can be that can be done at a very very humble level and that is one thing the youths of today don't have that humility to stoop low to render service everybody wants to get rich quick everybody wants to drive a car so fast and a big car for that matter nobody wants to start from the roots from the grassroots nobody wants to start from way down there in fact there is almost like a culture of people who do not appreciate the dignity in labor um, I know of some young people who are ashamed to take on the job of frontliners I mean salespeople on a QSR floor simply because they are ashamed that their mates in some of these highbrow schools will see them on the counter and say since when did you start serving but they have forgotten that many of us took turns to do jobs like that for the McDonald's and the KFC's we enjoyed doing it over vacation not because our parents couldn't afford to keep us just you know trotting the whole of Oxford Street during summer, summer uh, holidays we just enjoyed to be part of these things and the truth is that you can't build you know you can't build a, a big enterprise by thinking that you will not start small you have to start to understand things at the, at the high levels you have to understand them at the low levels that is when you appreciate your investment that is when you know the importance of hard work and that is how you know how to navigate the waters when you get into troubled waters you can't reap where you don't sow